Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching day 19 of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to day 19 of my mystery whiskey advent or dramvent calendar. If you've seen this before and you know how it works, then you can just skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I have over 150 samples in my sample collection and my wife has picked 24 at random. She'll put one a day into this blue Glencairn glass and I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell you if I like it and I'll have a stab at what I think it is. Shall we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. If you'd like to play along and find out what's in my glass when I do, then just keep watching. Otherwise, take a look in the description now for a sneak peek. Let's start with the nose. Okay, so this is quite fruity, like hedgerow fruits. Like raspberries, blackberries. It really is juicy. Getting a hint of mint in there as well. You know, sort of like fresh mint leaves when you break them and you get that sort of escape of really sweet uh, like spearmint. It really is, really is nice. Yeah, it's definitely got a herbal sort of tang in there, which is quite nice. Hint of maybe um, stinging nettles, you know, when you um, when you sort of brush past some sort of very high stinging nettles in a in an overgrown field. It reminds me of that. Yeah, and that that mint is really really dominant. This is nice, but quite unusual for a whiskey. Yeah, I'm gonna move on to the palette. This reminds me of a uh, rye whiskey, like an American rye whiskey. It's um, got some mint, it's got some chocolate, it's got that sort of rye spice to it. The um, the, the chocolate nose, a bit like um, cocoa nibs, it's that sort of, um, it's that sort of slightly powdery, dark chocolatey note. It really is quite nice. The, um, the mint is quite present as is that sort of herbal tang from that rhino I was getting. But at this stage, I wouldn't say it seems overly high ABV. Let's have another sip. Yeah, see this is, this is really quite interesting because Although it has those sort of rye notes, I wouldn't immediately say this reminds me of an American rye whiskey. There's something lacking from it. Um, but it, I suppose, could be uh, a very high rye, um, and maybe there's not much corn in it. But it's, um, yeah, the sort of base character of the spirit doesn't come across like a rye American style whiskey. It's um, it's really interesting. There's a slightly sort of spirity tang to it on the finish. I'd say this is probably at least 45% ABV. It's um, quite thin though on the palate and in terms of finish I'd say it's um, Short to medium. It do, it doesn't last very long. There's not much in the ter in terms of like wood on the finish. I'm not really getting um, any sort of dry or charred wood. It's really interesting. But my initial thoughts are, although this is a rye style, the sort of flavours I'm getting, it might not even be a rye, and it might not even be from the US. But let's have one more sip.
Yeah, this is this is really interesting. I I think that this is a rye whiskey. It definitely has it definitely has a rye character to it. So I reckon there's a decent amount of rye in this, or it is a you know classed as a, a rye whiskey because although it's not overly spicy, that sort of herbal note that you get from a rye is unmistakable so um yeah i think this is a rye so I, c I can't even think of i've got any rye in any of my samples but let's go with the us and let's say this is a rye whiskey should we see what's in my glass Right, so this is Balconus Texas Rye 100 proof. It's 50% ABV or 100 proof, and it was sent to me by Frederick Hansen. So uh, thanks, Frederick. Balconus have obviously done some amazing things for American whiskey with um, the sorts of stuff that they've done out of the box, like uh, American single malts and you know 100% blue corn whiskey. It's you know they've done some interesting stuff, but yeah, I, I think this was unmistakably rye but not rye as I know it. I've tried a number of American ryes and I do like rye whiskies and I've also tried non-American ryes and I wouldn't say this immediately falls into that American sort of style rye whiskey so that's what confused me a little bit but I'm glad I stuck to my guns and and said this was an American rye whiskey. Yeah it's it's nice. Um, it's, I think, because it's got that really nice herbal rye note, even without the spiciness. I, I think it's probably one I'd add to my wish list and potentially buy. So thanks, Frederick, for sending me this really interesting dram. If you enjoyed what you saw, then hopefully come back tomorrow for some more. Sancha. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, why not give it a like or a comment, and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.